For some, knowledge is simply information. But for some, it is a journey towards wisdom, pride and honour. The Star Quiz Challenge has always been a platform for young geniuses who believe that knowledge is a value to imbibe. Welcome to the sixth season of the Max Star Quiz Challenge 2016, powered by Skyline University College. This is UAE's most prestigious inter-school quiz contest, where the hunt for the best quizzing team for 2016 has just begun. It's with immense pleasure that I, Mohan Kapoor, resume my role as the quiz master once again. With an initial participation of over a thousand students across the UAE, 18 of the finest teams have made it to this season. But only one of these 18 teams will have the pride of winning the coveted Star Quiz Challenge Rolling Trophy, the very benchmark of quizzing excellence, a recognition for their passion, their precision and intelligence. So without any further ado, let's meet today's exciting teams. The first three teams for the first quarterfinal for the sixth season of the Max Star Quiz Challenge 2016, powered by Skyline University's College, are ready. Let's meet these exciting teams. Emirates Future International Academy Abu Dhabi is my team A. Please introduce yourselves. I'm Skevin and I study in grade 10. I'm Ashit Farhan, I'm also a student of grade 10. Now, I do believe that you all have qualified twice before on this very show. What learnings do you bring from the past two attempts for this season? We have found out some strategies which, which, which we can use for the rounds in Star Quiz. Mm -hmm. and, and what do you feel are your weaknesses? Uh, I think the buzzer round because that's where we lost most of the time. Team B, we have Sharjah, Indian School Sharjah. Please introduce yourselves. My name is Adwit Anikot Shahji of Grade 9. My name is Twitik, Grade 9. Welcome. And I believe that you both want to join the Indian Civil Services. Yes. yes. That's wonderful. So has this passion for joining the Indian Civil Services also stemmed from the fact that you all are co-quizzers? Yes, definitely. Yes. All the very best. <laughs> Team C is being represented by the Millennium School Dubai. Please introduce yourselves. Hi, my name is Fadil and I'm from Grade 9. Hi, my name is Aaron Anand. I study in Grade 9. Welcome. Now, Fadil, I believe you know computer codes in 10 different languages. Plus, you are a slow clapping enthusiast. I've always found a certain uh, passion in sarcasm. And Arun, you are also the recipient of the Sheikh Hamdan Award and Sharjah Excellence Award. What were these awards for? These awards were for overall excellence uh, given to various students by the government of the uh, United Arab Emirates. Congratulations for them and congratulations to all three teams for making it here for our very first quarterfinal. The winners of this episode will claim their place in the semi-finals. So, let's get started with the sixth season of the Max Star Quiz Challenge 2016, powered by Skyline University College. The toughest steel is forged in the hottest of fires. But let's see, how tough are these young guns who are here to prove when they are put through a rapid fire round, which is brought to you by Daba Herbal Toothpaste. Six direct questions per team. In case you are not sure of the answer, do say pass and we'll come back to the question if time permits. Five points for a correct answer. There'll be no negative points. 45 seconds to answer all the questions. So let me begin with Team A. That's Emirates Future International Academy, Abu Dhabi. Question one. Bratislava is the capital of which country? Uh, Lithuania. Lithuania is incorrect. Question two, with which sport is the club named Nondescripts mostly associated? Uh, baseball. Incorrect. Question three, in which film did Daniel Craig appear as James Bond for the first time? Casino Royale. That is correct. Question four, Ragnar Frisch and Han Timbergen were the first recipients of which prize? Uh, pass. Question five, in Greek mythology, who is the god of the sea and protector of Poseidon, all... Poseidon. Poseidon is correct. Question six, which poet wrote the famous poem, Ode on a Grecian Urn? William Wordsworth. Incorrect. And your time is up. Well done. We are moving on right now to Team B, which is Sharjah Indian School. Sharjah, are you ready? Yes. yes. So your six questions in 45 seconds. Here goes the first. Sofia is the capital of which country? Pass. Question two. 
with which sport is the club named Shakhtar Donetsk mostly associated? Pass. Question three. Who played the role of Gareth Mallory in the James Bond film Spectre? Pass. Question four. Who was the first Asian to win the Nobel Prize in Literature? Rabindranath Tagore. Absolutely correct. Question five. In Greek mythology, who was the god of commerce? Athena. Athena is incorrect. Question six. The last question. Which poet created Macavity the Mystery Cat? Pass. Pass. And time. Your 45 seconds are also over. I cannot revisit the questions you passed. Team C, the Millennium School, Dubai, all the very best. Rapid fire round, six questions, 45 seconds. Your time starts now. Riga is the capital of which country? Pass. Question two, with which sport is the club named Toronto Blue Jays mostly associated? Canada. Is incorrect. Question three, what was the title of the first ever James Bond film? Doctor No. Yes, that's correct. Four, in 2009, who was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize? Uh, Barack, Barack Obama. Obama. Absolutely correct. Question five in Greek mythology, who is the god of blacksmiths, sculptors, meteorology, fire and volcanoes? Vulcan. That is incorrect. Question six, which Welsh poet wrote the radio drama under Milkwood? Pass. Time is up. That brings us to the end of the rapid fire round. It's been a little bit of a shaky start, but we have still many rounds to go. Now, the number six, which happens to be the highest number of the dice, is also considered as a symbol of luck. But quizzing glory is no matter of luck as we give our contenders six categories to choose from in our next round, which is categories brought to you by the Skyline University College. We will start with the lowest scoring team, each team gets to choose only one category out of six. Ten points for a correct answer. If the team does not know the answer, then the question passes on to the next team for ten points. Ten seconds to answer a direct question posed at you. Five seconds to answer the question that has been passed to you. So we shall begin now with the lowest scoring team from the earlier round. In this case, it happens to be Team B, the Sharjah Indian School, Sharjah. Are you ready? Yes. I'm going to tell you the six categories. You will have to choose from one of them. The categories are films, domesticated animals, art objects, internet, plant products, and physics. Your choice of category would be? Films. And your question, which 2010 David Fincher feature film had the tagline, you don't get to 500 million friends without making a few enemies? Social Network. Social Network is absolutely right. Well done. <laughs> Moving on to Team C, the Millennium School Dubai. The choices for categories left with you are domesticated animals, art objects, internet, plant products, and physics. Internet. Your question. Name the user-friendly graphical web browser that was released in 1993 by Mark Lovell Andresen and his team at NCSA. Internet Explorer. Incorrect. That question passes for five seconds to Emirates Future International Academy, Abu Dhabi. Is it Opera Mini? Opera Mini is incorrect. Sharjah Indian School, Sharjah, would you like to hazard a guess? Firefox? No, I'm sorry. It's not Firefox. None of you get that. Ten points going to no one. The correct answer is Mosaic. We are now moving on to Team A, which is Emirates Future International Academy. The choices in terms of categories in front of you are domesticated animals, art objects, plant products, and physics. 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 Your question is, according to Fleming's left-hand rule, which finger gives the direction of force thumb. or motion? Thumb. thumb. The thumb is absolutely correct. Ten points to you. Well done, well done. So the scores at the end of round two are as follows. At second runner-up, we have the Millennium School Dubai with just ten points. Sharjah Indian School, Sharjah, 15 points. And Emirates Future International Academy Abu Dhabi, 20 points. <laughs> Did you know that the internet was originally called ARPANET or Advanced Research Projects Agency Network designed by the US Department of Defense. Stay tuned as you are going to learn a lot more but on the other side of this break.
Welcome back to the Max Star Quiz Challenge 2016, powered by Skyline University College. Once again, it's time to ask our young contenders to take a plunge into their repertory of knowledge. Up next is Starcade, brought to you by Max. Questions will carry values from 20 to 5 points. One assigned question per team. Each team gets an assigned question, which is a series of clues on a thing, place, personality, event, monument or animal. The first clue is the most difficult, for which the team will get 20 points if they answer correctly. But if the team misses or answers incorrectly, they get a second clue. If they answer at this stage, they get 10 points. If the team still misses or passes, they do get a third clue, which will be a visual clue. But if they get it right at this stage, they get five points. Questions do not pass in this round. At the point the team answers, I shall award them the requisite points. Are these rules clear? Yes. yes. Are they understood? Yes. And are we ready? Yes. All right. Well, this round we shall begin with the Emirates Future International Academy, Abu Dhabi. Because your first question is the max question, getting you the max points of 20. Your clue one, Edgar Allan Poe wrote a poem on this bird. Is it the owl? No. You lose the chance to get max points of 20, but we move to clue two for 10 points. The second clue is it belongs to the crow family. Is it the raven? The raven is right! <laughs> Closing that deal at 10 points. Well done, Emirates Future International Academy, Abu Dhabi. Moving on to Sharjah Indian School, Sharjah. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Well, good, because this max question for you too will get you the max points of 20. All the very best. Clue number one. This artist changed his name in 1966 in order to avoid confusion with Davy Jones of the music group The Monkees. Time. You have lost your chance for the max points of 20. But clue two shall get you 10 points if you get it accurately. The second clue is, his last issued album is named Black Star. Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy? Eddie Murphy is incorrect. But you do stand a chance to win five more points because your third clue is a picture clue, a visual, and I hope you get it. Can we have the visual for team B? David Bowie. David Bowie is right. Well done. Well done. Yes, I can see the disappointment. But chin up, my friend. You've got five points and there's still a couple of rounds for you to catch up. Well done. And now my team C, the Millennium School Dubai. It's your chance to go into the Starcade. The max question, which carries the max points of 20. Are you ready? Yes. Here's your clue one. This actor was removed from the sets of the children's television series Romper Room for being disruptive at the age of five. Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey is incorrect. You lose that opportunity for the max points of 20. Let's go to clue number two that can get you 10 points. In 1996, he appeared opposite Claire Danes in Baz Luhrmann's film Romeo and Juliet. Leonardo DiCaprio. Bang on! Well done! Well done! <laughs> Father clinching that at 10 points for the team. Good on you. Now, friends, in the audiovisual round, our contestants will sharpen their auditory and visual senses to find the right answers. This round, you will either be shown a picture or you will hear an audio clip followed by a question for the same. A total of three questions. One question per team. The question will pass on if the first team does not get the answer or gets it wrong. Ten points for a correct answer. There'll be no negative marks here, but five points for a passed on question. Ten seconds to answer a direct question. Five seconds to answer a passed on question. Emirates Future International Academy Abu Dhabi. We will begin with you. And for you, I have an audio clip. Have a listen and then I shall pose my question. Can we have the audio clip, please?
Identify the film series from this theme music clip. Star Wars. Bang on. Well done. Congratulations. Sharja Indian School Sharja. While you were getting excited about knowing that theme, let's see how you all fare with your clue. Your clue is a visual clue. So have a look and then I shall give you my question. Identify this naturalist. And time, I am sorry. Team C, the Millennium School Dubai, would you like to hazard a guess? Five seconds. Pass. Team A, Emirates Future International Academy Abu Dhabi, for you. Me pass as well. None of you? Well, let me tell you. That is Sir David Attenborough, the naturalist who we've all come to love. Well, don't feel bad. Console yourselves with the fact that at least now you're richer with the knowledge of having known. Okay? <laughs> all right. The Millennium School Dubai, here's your turn. And for you, I have a visual clue too. Have a look at the visual and then answer my question. Identify the structure on this UAE 50 dirham banknote. Dubai Museum. The Dubai Museum, I'm afraid, is incorrect. Mm -hmm. Team A, passing on to you. Five seconds, ten points. Is it the Kassel Hassan Fort? Sorry? The Kassel Hassan Fort. No, I'm afraid not. Sharjah Indian School, Sharjah. Yeah, well, you were in the general geographical location, but the answer that I was looking for is the Al Jahili Fort at Alain. Let's see how your scores stack up so far. With a score of 20, we have Team B and Team C. That's Sharjah Indian School, Sharjah and the Millennium School, Dubai. 20 points, but leading right now with 40 points is the Emirates Future International Academy, Abu Dhabi. You have a lead of 20, but there is a round to go, and this round can change fortunes a matter of a flick of a finger. Let's wait to watch that. Well, it's getting exciting by the minutes, so let's get our nerves in order before we move into the last lap of tonight's show. By the way, did you know that the Formula Rosa, located at the world's largest indoor theme park, Ferrari World at Abu Dhabi, is the world's fastest roller coaster, going from zero to 240 kilometers per hour in less than five seconds? Why don't you think about that while we go into a break? See you on the other side. Welcome back. The clock is ticking and the pulse is rising. The tension is palpable as we move towards the final round for tonight. Time to hit the last round at the buzzer. Brought to you by Al Rawabi. The team that hits the buzzer first gets to answer. The question will not be completed if the buzzer is hit while I am reading the question. Please answer within five seconds of hitting the buzzer. Ten points for a correct answer. Minus five points for an incorrect answer, so be careful. In case you do not answer after hitting the buzzer, that too shall get you minus five points. Are we ready? Yes. yes. Question one. During diastole, the ventricles contract, pumping blood through the body. True or false? True. True is incorrect. Question two. For which country did the boxer Joe Fraser win an Olympic gold medal? Millennium School Dubai, yes. The United States of America. Absolutely right. Well done. Question three. Which species of falcon clock speeds of 200 miles per hour? Yes, team A. Peregrine falcon. falcon. Peregrine falcon. Well done. That is correct. Question four. Which company manufactures the Kit Kat brand of chocolates? Yes, team A. Nestle. Nestle is also correct. Question five. Complete the slogan popularized during the French Revolution. Liberty, equality. Yes, team A. Fraternity. Fraternity is correct. Well done. And question six. In which city in Sudan do the Blue Nile and the White Nile meet? And time. None of you got that last one. But we are ready with the final scores. We're in the second runner-up. For today's quarterfinals, have a total score of 15. That's Sharjah Indian School, Sharjah. 
The first runner-up for today's clash has managed a total of 30 points. That's Millennium School Dubai, giving us our first winning team for our first quarterfinals. And they head straight into the semi-finals from here. Congratulations to Emirates Future International Academy, Abu Dhabi. Well done. 70 points gets you into the semi-finals. Well done. How does it feel? Ah, very good. Yeah. Your last two attempts, was it as good as this? No, we never made it to the semis before. So you're happy? Yeah. Yes. Confident? Yes. yes. All the very best. I thank you two teams for taking part and giving us the joy of your presence on these sets and making our first show so very delightful. Thank you so much. <laughs> Lionel Messi once said, being named among the best at something is special and beautiful. But if there are no titles, nothing is won. Very well said. Just enough to inspire the winners of today and hopefully of the clashes and the battles that are still to come on. This has been a smashing start of a new season and there's much more to come. For now, I, Mohan Kapoor, take your leave. But you, please do remember to stay tuned for the next encounter of the Max Star Quiz Challenge 2016, powered by Skyline University College. But the journey to find the smartest minds from all across the UAE continues. Till then, stay smart.